Are you new to the quarterback position? Or maybe you just want to build your knowledge. In this video series, QB 101, we're going to be covering all the basics that you need to know. We'll be breaking down a whole bunch of different topics to not only help you succeed in the quarterback position, but to make sure you have fun doing it. In today's video, we are talking about calling an audible, and we are now in part three of our audible series. So if you haven't seen episode seven and episode eight, we're talking about checking to a throwing audible, check out those videos first before we come to this one. So today's audible is all about checking into run plays, all right? So calling audibles is all about solving a problem, all right? So we're coming up with a quick solution to a problem that we might see. So we come up to the line, we have a play already called, but that play is not gonna work, or we have a better play in mind. So you're gonna have one word that you can say, and your whole team is gonna know what the new play is, but the defense isn't gonna know. So we're talking about checking into a run play. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a straight run. It could be a dive, it could be inside zone, whatever is your go-to run, all right, your inside run, that's what we're checking to, all right? So let's say it's a dive left, all right? Why will we check into a dive left? Well, it's all about having favorable numbers in the tackle box. Now, when it comes to nine on nine, where the tackle box is, is a little bit, um, can be a bit confusing. I give one yard outside this guard, becomes the tackle box. I think it's to about eight yards deep. All right, so this is the tackle box. How many people are in here defending the run? All right, right now there is three and we have one, two, three guards, sorry, three O-line plus a running back, that's four. And if we're doing something like inside zone, all right, or a QB keep, we actually have five. So if the quarterback kept the ball, we can have four blockers plus a quarterback. So that's five on three. We have favorable numbers, all right? We're gonna talk about just handing off, all right, because some offenses aren't as comfortable as giving their quarterback the ball to go and run. So let's just work with the dive. So we have one, two, three, plus the running back, that's four against three, all right? Anytime you see three defenders in the box and no one, now sometimes you might have someone just outside the box. You know what I mean? You might have this safety just here, all right? This is a little bit different now, all right? So mm, yes, we only have three in the box, but these guys are only, you know, three or four steps away from being in the tackle box. I mean, in, a, in one second, they could have five people in the box and then we're in trouble, all right? So when it's very obvious that they are not defending the run, we should take the run. Now keep in mind, they may only switch to this kind of defense when they know you have to throw the ball. If it is third and 20, you're gonna to have to throw the ball unless you have an absolute stud running back and an amazing offensive line, all right? So if you see three people in the tackle box, we are running the ball, all right? So your check to dive left might be dolphin, all right? It doesn't matter what the word is, as long as everyone knows that dolphin, we are diving left, all right? We are blocking this up like this, and we can run that dive, all right? Easy three, four yards, all right? And if this outside linebacker, sorry, if this outside linebacker gets blocked by the slot, you know, we might even get seven, eight yards before the safety makes the tackle. So this is checking into a run play, checking into the dive. The next problem that we might see, which is slightly different. Okay, right here. This is what I call an overload to one side. All right, so they've got a lot of players over here. If we want to run the ball and they got this kind of overload, all right, they might even bring this player down to hang out over here. It looks like there's a lot of pressure coming from this right side. All right, it looks like there's some blitzes coming. Now, it might just be them disguising and making it look like a blitz. All right, but if you see blitz and you genuinely believe they're coming, all right, we need to account for that. How we fix this, there's two ways you can do it. In the offense I run up, we like to run toss away from the overload side. So this is the overload side. Look, there's one, two, three, four people over here on this side of the center, that's a lot of defenders. So we would move the running back over to the left and just go toss left. 
And the great thing about that is we don't even have to block those defenders. If we are good at the toss, catch the ball, throw it out to the left, we can block here, we can seal here, we can climb this center up here, all right? We only got to block the people over here and they've put a whole bunch of players over here. So toss away from the overload side. Alternatively, if you run an outside zone or a stretch out to the left, all right, anything where it's a handoff out wide, you can run that as well. So how that might look, you would still keep the running back on this side. And for stretch or off tackle, I guess, they're running out this way. Regardless, the running back is heading out wide to the left, all right? That's how we fix that problem really quick. Now, yes, you could put this slot in motion and do a jet sweep, all right? But it starts to get a little bit confusing when you start audibling to anything with a motion. If you can keep it simple, make it so easy that no one can screw it up, then that's gonna be the best play to go to. So anytime that you have the problem of there's an overload on one side, right? You might be thinking of throwing, you know, cross or something like that. And you're thinking, if they blitz, they're gonna absolutely crush me right now. Check to a toss or a stretch away from the pressure and you'll be good to go. All right, if you have any questions about anything we've been through today, leave a comment. I am more than happy to answer any of your questions.